There are a number of different species of aphids which feed on a wide range of crops in Alberta. Aphids are small, soft-bodied insects that come in a wide range of colors, differing somewhat in shape and in other features. Sometimes the color will depend on what they're feeding on. The vast majority of aphids are at female, although you will find males within a population from time to time. Most aphids are wingless, although wing stages are found from time to time as part of a migratory feature of the life cycle. Aphids increase in number very quickly, reaching maturity within 7 to 10 days. Aphids give birth to live young, with up to 100 offspring born per female over a 2-3 to three week period. This means that populations boom very, very quickly. Aphids are sap feeders, feeding by piercing plants and sucking out the juices. Unfortunately, they're very inefficient feeders, with much of the plant sap passing through them as a sugary excretion referred to as honeydew. The various species of aphids can be distinguished by differences in their body parts, including body shape, the length of their antennae and or legs, the shape or length of their cornicles. These are the little tailpipes or butt tubes that stick out the backside of them. There are a number of other features that can be used to distinguish between species. Some species of aphids can transmit viruses. Otherwise, their feeding can cause plant distortion or deformation. In some cases, this means that plant parts will become twisted or curled or cupped. In other cases, you'll see a plant which will result in a burst of color or bubbling or cupping or um, in some cases the formation of little pocket galls or uh, rolling of leaves. It depends on the species. Aphid species that are of concern to horticultural crop producers in Alberta include green peach aphid, potato aphid, foxglove aphid, and woolly elm or woolly apple aphid. There are other species that can be pests on plants. In most situations, aphids are easily enough managed using chemical or biological controls. However, it's critical to control populations before they explode or before they can spread things like viruses. The tolerance threshold for aphids can vary depending on the crop. In some cases, if the species of aphid is part of a virus transmission cycle, it's important to control this at a very low threshold level. Otherwise, you can tolerate a fair bit of feeding.